everyone on tenterhooks and you can understand why only four teams left in the fight for this season's FA Cup who will prevail in this semi-final it is Chelsea they take on Newcastle United live on EA TV And hello to you from the home of football here in London, Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have action from the semi-final stage of the FA Cup just moments away. It's Chelsea up against Newcastle United. Well, what an occasion this should be, Derek. Two excellent teams, two top coaches, a great atmosphere, and 90 minutes away from a place in the Cup final. It should be a classic. And this is how it looks for Chelsea. Christian Pulisic starts with Raheem Sterling out wide and handed the task of playing up front today, Romelu Lukaku. So the starting 11 for Newcastle United. Well, it'll be interesting to see how the wingers play today. Will they stay high and wide? Will they come in field and support the centre forward? And how deep will they come out of possession? They're going to be key to this formation. And the contest begins. The Chelsea move still flowing. Advantage to them. Well, the advantage didn't really accrue to them. And so it's going to be a free kick. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? Well, first and foremost, he can't make any silly mistakes because all eyes will be on him. But I'm expecting a solid and dependable display from him because he's an excellent goalkeeper who will certainly improve them. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Well, they might be onto something. Can he put it away? And a goalkeeper on top of his game. Well, it's great goalkeeping. What a big save that is. Trying to deliver it accurately. And still dangerous. That's a foul. And it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And he takes it on! Well, knocked on the target. The keeper seemed to have it covered. Well, he did seem to have it covered, but it's not a bad effort, though. He really did strike it well. Really closing him down here. A meaty but fair challenge, and it will be a throw in. Really bright looking attack. Being egged on by the crowd. Oh, keeper in control. They're going for the short one. Oh, he saved 
timed it well. Chilwell. And a play for what will be a Chelsea throw. Havertz. Far from a good pass. Oh, what an opportunity. Can he finish? And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1-0. Well, this is really poor defensively. Just look how exposed the keeper is. He's got absolutely no chance there. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? He read the situation defensively and did his job. Ryan Grafenberg. Well, not the pass he had in mind. Sterling. Havertz. Munir. Roy. Good looking sequence. Determined block. Lukaku, racing forward, trying to catch them out. Kovacic, determined defending. Well, adding up all the stoppages, we will have three extra minutes. Oh, the threat is there. Can't miss, surely. And keeping it out. And there's the delivery. Well, there we have it. We're at the halfway mark now, here at Wembley. Back in business, and the lead belongs to the Magpies. Will they be able to keep it? Munir, he's in with a chance, there it is, and he could scarcely have had an easier finish. Well, as you can see, the defending is really poor, but he won't mind, it's a simple finish for him. Back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Well, 
delighted to say more Premier League action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Chelsea facing Spurs. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to it. Always a great atmosphere in that stadium. Oh, it... wait a minute. They could well be in. Real chance. And denied by the post. Well, no damage done. Well, I have to say, I thought that looked to be going in. It was such a good effort. Yes, so near indeed. But now they've got to concentrate on keeping their defensive shape. And fired against the crossbar. This had to look a bit lively, given the pressure. Well, as you can see, Newcastle have had most of the ball and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can he finish this? Could be! In it goes! A three-goal cushion! This is astonishing stuff! This is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So on they go again, and the Magpie's beginning to run away with this. Just a quick reminder, we'll have live coverage of the Champions League semi-final first leg. It's Newcastle United facing Inter. Well, I can't wait to see how the coaches set their teams up for that one. Both will want to lead going into the second leg. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? But quick thinking defensively. Ten minutes left for play. Reese James. James. Kai Havertz. Now with James. James. And now passing it through. Nicely blocked. Gonzalo Plata. Roy could be a chance to break here can they take advantage of the situation still a chance great defending here oh chance taken there is opportunism for you but a disappointed goalkeeper well as you can see the first save is a good one but they can't react quickly enough to the second ball the keeper's a bit unlucky really And it is official now, the visitors are on their way to the final. Well, what a display that was. Their attacking play was breathtaking at times, and they completely dominated in midfield, which then allowed the fullbacks to get forward to great effect. They'll surely be favourites going into the final.